Hello everyone, my Hex is here once again. Um, last time we left right after the investigation began. We still do not have many clues, but my suspicion right now is that Hiro, yeah, it's Hiro, Hiro and Celeste are working together. Hiro was the one to, ki to kill kill both of them and Celeste was the mastermind between behind sorry behind all of this and she was the one that created um, like um, distractions like uh, telling us she's out of shadow uh, screaming and that kind of stuff because I have been feeling for the last couple of sessions that she has been wirely well, she has been strange because she's all about yeah, I'm I'm cool living here forever. I, why we probably need the outside world, la la la, that kind of stuff. And okay, maybe it could be she will like it that way, but I don't think so. Um, and also, this time the motive is money, a lot of money. And I think if if I sit and think about who of them is the one that will need the money the most, I would think it will be Hiro. She, sorry, he is dumb. <laughs> I don't think he will be good with finances. So let's look through all the school to look for clues and see if I get any more information regarding this. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall. Although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could just these hammers have been designed using this model? Either way, all the hammers ha here have obviously seen a lot of use. They are all covered in debris, debris, debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer. Okay. Hmm. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. Oh, there is a blood stain on it. So there is blood on the wheel of the jelly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Obviously because the killer moved Taka's body with that. Taka, he will never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow in the, to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 need, near his body in the equipment room. room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there is a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way there wouldn't be... Wait, give me a second. Yep. That way there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Okay, understandable. Blue tarp has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hifumi's big cold body is laying on, on the floor. His really big body. Oh, come on. Well, yeah, he's big. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? That's true. From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here to repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's not good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. 
If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head, probably from Justice's hammer tree which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. Oh, the glasses are clean. That's it, his glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they are completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who will do that and why? Why could that be? Could it be maybe because they didn't kill Hifumi on purpose so he could walk the stairs with them? Like a fatal injury but a but not an instant killer one. And that's why they wiped the, his glasses so he could see where he was going. I don't know. It's kinda weird. There are many aspects of the incident this time. Too many to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that has happened. Would you like my help? I always like your help, Sakura. Yeah, let's look let's look back on things. Oh. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Hmm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. As soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Oh. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor. Then quickly came and got you and me. Uh -huh. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Meaning, just after 7 o'clock, based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. Hmm, I would like to take a look at the hour this photo was taken. Digital, all, I think all digital cameras have that uh, specification, right? They all, you can see at the time they were taken. It was Robot Justice. It also became clear that this Robot Justice had dragged Hifumi away. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costume asylum. We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. Okay, we were all in the third floor where Celeste was, and we found Hifumi in the second floor in the library. Took you down to the nurse's office on the first floor. Then we resume our search. But not long, no long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Okay, I think the time that we took. He fooled me from the library to the nurse's room and the time we spent at, at the nurse's room was time enough for the hero to kill Taka. Hmm. And maybe maybe she indeed saw a shadow, but that was a sign out that everything went according to Keikaku. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back 
back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then right after that, Celeste screamed. This time she had a plan to distance the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs so he headed up, he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Oh. And then... Yeah! Huh? What, what was that? That came from downstairs, it must have been... Okay, yeah, that scream is when he told me it was murder. So we were all on the third floor talking to Celeste, she was distracting us. At that time, Taka was already dead and uh, she was taking this opportunity to distract us so, the, so Hiro could go to the nurse's office and deal uh, more or less final blow to Hifumi. Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Byakuya and Toko pursued the suspect on the third floor. Okay, Taka was already there, so... We had no issue there. But Celeste went with Sakura and Hina. And when we go back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi's corpse. Which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Okay, so... And Celeste also said that she and Hina went out for a little bit to go to the bathroom. And that's when... Um, I still believe it's Hiro. Took... Took uh, Hifumi's body. And bring it to the tier floor. Wait, but they must have met at some point. Or not really, because everyone was in the equipment room. Which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you and Byakuya that Hifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me and Byakuya are headed back to the nurse's office. Yeah, and we left Toko <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, leaving behind Toko who had faint. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. If Miss Buddy has disappeared, we hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Then we remember we had abandoned the unconscious taco and rushed back to the equipment room. This can be happening. Are we hallucinating all of, or this, all of this or something? This time, Taka, Taka's body had disappeared, and from there, sorry, it's me. And so from there, we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time, oh. Celeste told us she found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. And there, and there, we rediscovered the two bodies that had been apparently vanished.
and that brings us up to now. Sorry. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. And you find any time. Okay, thank you, Sakura. You were really helpful. And yes, at least when we talk with Sakura, fits my theory. Um, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Oh, huh? what is it? Mm. After he found me and Taka's body disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. Mm. And I came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked. Oh. And we came here as soon as the search started. So there's no way someone could have beat us here. So, so if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide right open. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Okay. And casually Celeste is the one to inform us, so maybe she has the key. Byakuya, do you think Hiro really did it? <laughs> I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died. Yeah, he says hero name. Hero's name. name. Then there's no room, no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why won't he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'll be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the center, you see? I mean, he is kinda dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. Nanda. And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no. There are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? <laughs> they probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that was the case, we found the bodies very easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was Amara. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why did that bother killing two people? Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> because all the world says is, if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So, if you are the killer, your number one priority is not getting cuffed. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you, get fo you, you will get found out. Narihodo. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what it means. I is everything okay? Yamero. Don't talk to me as if we, we are friends. Fuck you, Byakuya, I just gave you such a big clue and you're treating me like that. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> okay, but you have my appreciation. Jana. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figure something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? You know what? Now that I'm thinking... Two people are dead. There's no reason if... If, if Celeste and Hero are working together, there is no reason to kill two people. Unless they are doing a bet. And 
they are doing a bet between the two of them and one killed each of well, one person one person each kill one person and I think Hiro killed Hifumi and Celeste killed Taka and I think they made a bet to see who was coughed in the act hmm. I think I think something like that is going on what else We can still live. Oh, there is only one way out of this room. Through the door that Hina said was locked before. There is definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from the inside. From inside the repository? How? I don't see any way to lock it from the arc in the arc room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so it can only be locked from the inside. From inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So to threaten someone... Maybe it was Hiro. Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found, then the equipment room where Taka was found. Yep. Yes. Nothing to call home about. Okay, let's go to the physics lab. Because I'm quite sure that the person who took Taka's body used that cart. Because if you look at the blood stains in this room, you will see, yeah, you will see that like, this wheel wheel marks there is some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room that reminds me about the dolly in the repository there was blood on its tire could that blood have come from here? which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Yeah. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the, on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. What are you doing here, Toko? I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I'm missing such an ultimate great event. Yeah, seems like something you will say. Huh? This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before and just recently too. Yeah, the one you just say that Taka was uh, involved into. Just this hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Okay, seems that like there's nothing else. 
Is there anything in this room? North and South then. Cache, Let's see if there is any kind of clue at the rec room. Number one mallet still here. Celeste, was she really attacked with this Justice Hammer one? But what the heck is with this thing? Okay. stuff is still down here right here hmm Celeste what are you doing here What are you investigating, Celeste? Mm -hmm. I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if he might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Yeah. How Hifumi was moved, huh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? So this one. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Hmm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then, the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Yeah. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi is only a, in only a couple of minutes is... I can think of it as anything less than impossible. Hmm, so let's count. Just this hammer tree, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. What is it behind you, Celeste? It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. <gasps> it's too small to be a handled hand handkerchief. It's a glass cleaning cloth. It's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ah, but it's also covered in blood. Ah, oh, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used to wipe up some blood. <sighs> Makoto, you already know that Kifumi's glasses were wiped. Who will need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Of course, it's important. Uh, yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. Okay, and that cloth is something that Hifumi will be carrying around.
Huh. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me though, I'm not a vampire. That's not a clue. Nothing else in here? Okay, let's leave for now. Oh, so this is where you were. I've been looking for you. Do you have? <laughs> I want to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, <laughs> you should go to Hiro's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the not hero road to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. <laughs> anyway, this makes it this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> hmm. Things grow ever more exciting. Huh? What are you talking about? I have already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Just a hero's message. Um, so he said to go to Hiro's room, but what's waiting for me there? Let's find out. Because I'm still not sure it was Hiro. I for sure think that Celeste is involved. But for Hiro, I'm not sure if it was Hiro or if it was um, this 16th um, person that was implied to be to exist. Yakuya, Junko, Toko, Shihiro. I'm so sorry, Shihiro. Celeste, Sakura, Aoi, Leon, Yasuhiro. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Biaki had decided to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where did he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? I think there's something in the cardboard box. Oh, it's blueprints for something and... Something's made out of... It looked like cardboard, plastic and plaster. Is this Robot Justice? And it's in Hero's room? But wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Yeah, it's not the same... Writing. Hmm. Robot Justice Blueprints have been added to the bullet truths. It's a normal bed, pretty much just like the one in my room. Okay. Let's check the bathroom. I soundlessly check the bathroom. There's nothing here. It's very grungy through too, though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. This camera has been glitching so much. What's going on with you? Why are you glitching? That's weird. Okay. What? Makoto! Big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! Oh, nice! What? I is she okay? Where is she? Wait, 
I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robot Justice showed up too. Robot Justice? It's Hero, we're in the costume. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think that Hiro and Kyoko will turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as far as I could. Oh, it's so exciting, so, so much movement in this case. Kyoko and... Yare, yare dabe. Huh? Phew, man, I had the worst day. Hiro? Um, Hiro? Huh? <laughs> yeah, duh. Who else will I be? Um, that's a good question. What? Why do I look like this? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? What? Mm. Robo Justice finally made his appearance, eh? I guess Kyoko is the one that found him. So. I found him. He was jammed to the pool room locker. Oh. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. I still can't believe you kicked me. I could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. None. That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. So? There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Oh. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you are dressed like that. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, then I woke up and then I was here. <laughs> I don't care, do something about that costume, it pains me just to look at you. Well, um... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. There is a clasp in the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. You don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, just but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suite. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew, free at last. Oh. And it's kinda w it's ki isn't it kinda weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? More to the point, nobody but Hiro will be able to wear that costume. Oh, wait, what? H hold on a sec. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. Was Hiro? <laughs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Let's tie me up? H hold on, guys. I think it's going a little far. Sorry. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair tra treatment. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Uh. Attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. No, no, no. You can talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Kill who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be, be the costume attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it for... 
on for yourself before you convict me. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a beat, Hina started putting on the, jo the Robo Justice costume. You can't bend the waist. In a half, Hina took the suit back off again. Uh, well, now you are a lot of excuses. N uh. No, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then. <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Oh, okay. Against my will, I pick up the pieces of the floor and try putting them on. It's not good. The arms are too long. There is no way I can wear this. See? I told you, it was impossible! <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this custom was made to fit Hero's body exactly. D then there's another custom. There must have one that looks the same, but, but fix them. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. Do, do Ev you evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suite, yes? Then you must fi find it and show it to us. Uh, what the heck? Who cares? Here is the only one without an alibi, during this whole thing anyway. <laughs> Which is how we know it was him. <laughs> I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's ha been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Robot Justice Custom. <laughs> hmm. Looking more and more like it, wa it really was a setup. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where was Kyo has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else will explain her questionable behavior? But, but, <laughs> you are quite protective of her, Jess. That's because she's helped me so, he's helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I will do to earn your trust. Something more to say, kitty kitty? She looks like she's lo lost in the... Lost in the heart of love You are the great no, you are the great place. I don't remember the song I don't think she's in the mood to talk I'd better leave her alone There's a big locker near the pool Not at all? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I have figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it! I did not! Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... That's it! I know who did it! You may as well tell us then. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and or Shihiro must have done it! I see. That's unfortunate. Uh -huh. Unfortunate? Stop trying to trick us! Just admit what you did it! That you did it, okay? Uh, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, oh I know. That note. 
note. What? Ah. Last night someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it say. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. Ah. Mm -hmm. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. Oi, oi. The real killer probably drugged me or something. something. Not a chance. Serega. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have a chemical so could do that. Huh? What? Really? I told you, someone, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Uh, even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Uh, well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? <laughs> yeah, they're praying on my desire to get out of here. They deceive me. Uh, I still don't buy it. Well, just shove by it. Okay, then shove us the nut. Mm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um bucket. <laughs> Looks like I lost it. Uh. Yeah, sure. Please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must provide evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Ah! What the heck? For serious? <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to, water to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Ah! No, it's like I say. Was it really to get the money Manakuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why. Whoa, wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. Just be thankful we haven't bumped and kicked you. <laughs> if you have time to gel and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? <laughs> ah, you're right. I need to look for the second suite and that note. Fit, don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back on guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko uh Chino Jack to switch with me. Mm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one everyone peel away. <laughs> Makoto, do you have a second? Oh I want you to help me with the investigation. <laughs> It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappear? Nande. No. To reject me, Susim. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, okay, come on, Makoto. <laughs> Thanks. Now then, shall we? No. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. So, dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. No. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I am supposed to answer. Donikaku. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay then. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They are in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, now for sure I'm I'm certain that Hiro wasn't the killer. Maybe he's trying to trick us, but I'm not. I I don't think he was the killer, to be honest. Uh, I think he's being framed. Oh, fuck! I 
took the wrong. I went to the wrong place. Um, I think Celeste is totally involved, and this sixteenth person. Kifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. Yeah, well then, let's get started. She's, she crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began packing and prodding their bodies. Yeah, buddy. The Manukuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Makoto, I found something. You did? No. Do you remember the wrist rush that always wore on his left hand? He did? <sighs> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Did you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, you say he had a watch. Yeah. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands are moving, right? It most likely worked when he had his encounter with his silent. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. That would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6? Silly. But last night, Taka's watch was definitely wasn't broken. Hey! Yo, how long were you gonna keep us waiting? Takas irritating voice pierced the air as he started pointedly at his wrist rush. Wrist, wrist rat, watch. It's almost 10 o'clock, did you know that? Bedtime for a little boys and girls. Tonight. So, if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 pm. Meaning it must have happened at 6 in the morning. Okay. Demo. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. <gasps> he appears to be gripping something. You're right. There's something white in there. Naikiku. Can you try and pry it out? Me? That's it. Rigor Mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka, Taka's cold hand. An ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly cleaned, clenched fist. A piece of paper? No. Was, was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? So, Kashira. I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. Yeah. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's, he's left us a few clues of his own. Switch you again? Yeah. Oh, so did you find anything? I did. More than I expect, to be honest. Look at this. A uh, what of paper? So you. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Yeah. He'd stuff it in his pants, so I can only assume he he will hidden it on purpose, you see. In his pants? Wait, so you Nande. It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. No. Anyway, let's look take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. And I didn't know how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like it better be important here for me, or I'll never forgive you for this. <laughs> oh, it's the same note. A note? I found a hole, maybe we can use to escape. Manukuma can find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet them in the equipment room at 6 a.m. That sounds very familiar. That's it, it's the same thing Hiro said. Then he was telling us the truth. Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Last <laughs> night, some slipped that we're not under my door. And he, here's what it said 
I found a, a hole, maybe we can just escape. Monokuma can find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. The time is different. Hiro told us he's not safe to meet at 1 a.m. But more but than not, they wrote to Hifumi ask him to meet at 6 a.m. So Koshiro. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? Sorewa. Parallel feet has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. Oh, so the part that stripped, it's completed with the part that Taka was holding. There's some meaning to the part of it being ripped. Um, could you maybe explain a little bit more? Think carefully. No. Why would you? Why will he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I, I have no idea. Yeah. What if it wasn't just, just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. No. And while we are at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their in handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Well, I didn't have any suspicion of that, but okay. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to killings in the first place. So you are saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? So question. If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. Mm -hmm. There may come a point, however, where the handbook may play a role. Handbook may play a role, I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. A handbook. Oh uh oh You know what that means, guys? It's time for the trial. And I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> I love his accent. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You will have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Well, we'd better get going. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. So, you know what this means. We will begin our trial in the next session. I will I will think about all the all the clues that we have, think this truthfully. I do think there are two people involved. I think one is Celeste and the other one is the 16th person. That we haven't met, um, but I'm not really sure. Well, let me think things through. So, next time I will tell you before the 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 the, the, the trial begins. I will tell you what conclusions I reach and wish me luck. <laughs> so, thank you guys for accompanying me, and see you next time. Bye.